Hi, welcome. I'm Dr. Olusola Ajide, and today I have with me. Hi, I'm Blessing Bipom. You're welcome. Thank now, you. um, today we will be talking about the experiences of Blessing and looking at the experience of a normal day in the computer science department of Robert University. So, can we know you more? Hi, so I'm Blessing Bipom yeah. and I'm a final year PhD student in the School of Computing All right. here at Robert Gordon University. Okay. Before I came to do my PhD, All I right. had the opportunity of doing a master's in computing information engineering, also at RGU. Wow. And one of the things I really liked about my master's was mm. the project that comes at the end. All right. And I really enjoyed the research aspect of that. Wow. That's one of the things that helped to foil my decision to come in to do this PhD. Interesting. Now, it, um, it's, it's more the fact that you enjoying your master's and enjoying the research components led you to do go ahead and do your PhD. So what's your PhD on? My research that I'm looking at currently helps okay. learners to find the right documents in this mass of learning materials yeah, yeah. that are currently available on the web. Yeah. And one main challenge that I'm addressing is the fact that learners are often new to okay. the topic that they're searching about okay. and so they're not always able to ask the right query Questions. in a search engine. Mm. You may have experienced this yourself when okay. you're trying to look for something mm. in an area that you're not very familiar with. with. You kind of struggle with it right terms to yeah. use and that's difficult for learners mm. it's particularly a challenge in okay. learning interesting now so how is your typical day like as a research student personally i like to be organized okay and i'm a morning person All right. so before i head out i write down a few things that i would like to accomplish for that day okay and when i make this list i try to be as specific as possible okay. so if i'm going to be writing a section of a chapter of my thesis okay. i put that section down okay. if i'm going to be running experiments if i'm going to be analyzing some data right. i'll actually put down what i'm going to be doing for that day so i don't okay. leave myself guessing or wondering okay. what i'm yeah. going to be doing yeah. And yeah. then when I get to my desk in the morning, yeah. I have a look at this list to remind myself of the things that I've mm. written. And I ask myself, if I only had to do one thing today, mm. what would that be? Okay. And so I take the most important thing and mm. then I start from there and I work my way through this list. In my list, I don't put like 50 things I'm going to do no. yeah. because that's not going to be yeah. realistic yeah. and I don't yeah. have all that time in the day. Yeah. And so I just walk my way through. Yeah. As I walk, I also try to take regular breaks yeah. because you can get caught up in what you're doing and forget to Correct. have a break. Yeah. And so I would say no two days for me are really the same. same. One day you could be having presentations, another day you could be writing part of your thesis, yeah. some other days you could be preparing for a supervisory meeting, yeah. and no two days are really the same, and that's what really I enjoy so about my... Have you had any challenge whatsoever during the period of the research? Yes, okay. one challenge that comes to mind readily is around the area of the scope of okay. the work. Okay. I'm sure many PhD students would agree with this. Yeah. You see, you come into the PhD with all these amazing ideas of things that you think you want to work mm -hmm. on. However, you have limited time, time. and resources, yeah. so you need to refine, narrow down, and streamline those your ideas, okay. the specific research questions you're going to be working on. Okay. That's because you want to have a piece of work that will be unique, Correct. will be noble, yeah. and very importantly, contribute significantly to this existing body of knowledge. Interesting. And that's why that's a challenge. Being able to refine that. Yeah. yeah. So, how have you been able to overcome this particular challenge that you faced? I would say for me, three things were very okay. helpful. Okay. First, I read a lot of the literature around my area okay. and tried to identify the gaps. Okay. The second thing is, I had regular meetings with my supervisory team okay. where I discussed my ideas and the findings I was making. Okay. The third thing is, I had to think through the questions that were not addressed okay. from all the readings I had done. Okay. And these things helped me to shape my ideas okay. and actually discover where to work on okay. and to know what area I'd focus on. And that's how I was able to address that challenge okay. around refining the scope that's of work. Interesting, interesting. And, and that's very important. You made a point there about this issue of thinking through. Yeah. And it's important during the PhD program in which you need to use your brain to think. Yeah. Because it's critical that you need to process these ideas and these thoughts and to be able to crystallize the ideas and get the unique ideas which will lead to your contribution to knowledge. 
And uh, look, that's very, very interesting. And thank you so much for your time today. And I hope you find this very interesting. I will see you again in my next video. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having and me. Thank you. And um, I, perhaps I need to bring you back again for any particular time. So thank you for coming. Thank you. So thank you and bye. Bye.